Welcome back to Cooking with Diane. I'm Diane, and this is a super short video about how to wear an apron correctly. I teach cooking classes for a living, and I see a surprising number of people that are wearing their aprons incorrectly. People wear them backwards, or they don't know how to tie the strings, so they just kind of let them dangle around behind them. They don't know how to adjust an apron that doesn't fit them correctly. So let's take a look at one of my little kitchen aprons. Let's first just look at the parts of the apron. So we have the hole that goes over my head. That's the, let's call it the necklace. And then we have two strings on either side that are meant to go around your waist. So this is how most aprons are shaped. Um, there are some smock style aprons out there, but this is the type that I use most frequently. First, let's take a look at the necklace. This is about where it should hit. If it's too long, that you might have a loop on the side that you can just adjust it to bring it up. But if you don't have a thing that will adjust the necklace for you, you can adjust it yourself just by tying a little knot in it. Or you can use a rubber band or a hair band, whatever you have. Anything that will just shorten that loop for you so that when you put it over your head, it'll hit in that right spot. It should be comfortable right here. If it's uncomfortable, then adjust it until it works for you. If you do have these metal adjusters, then you can shorten the string using those. But I find this to be really annoying. <laughs> then it really like gets in my way. So I make sure to take a second and tuck that behind my neck so it's out of the way. So now your apron is the right height. So you can go ahead and adjust your collar and your shirt underneath it. And now we got to worry about the strings. How do we tie those around our waist? So I'm just gonna step up so you can see me a little better. The strings, first of all, you want to think about where do they hit you on your body and is it comfortable? So for most people, it's going to be most comfortable to have the strings hit you in your natural waist, which for me is up here. Because I'm short, this apron is meant for somebody taller. The strings hit me down here, like right by my butt. And that's not a comfortable place for them to hit. What I do is I make a fold so that I can raise the strings to my waist level. So they start down here. I just fold the whole apron up just a little bit so I can tie them around my waist. Now you want to decide, do you want to tie your strings in the back or do you want to tie them in the front? So you can do it like this. If you're flexible, if you're really good at tying bows. But what I actually like to do is to tie in the front. So I'll bring the laces up, cross them in the back, then bring them around to the front and tie a bow like that. Now this only works if the strings are long enough to go around your whole body more than once. If that's comfortable for you, that's what I like to do. The benefit of having the strings tied in the front is that now I have kind of a little pocket that I can keep a kitchen towel in while I'm cooking, so it's always handy. So that's how you wear an apron like a chef. So I hope you enjoyed watching, and uh, if you enjoyed, please subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.